Orange County is considered by so many people to be such a desirable place to live. I mean, it's no wonder given our fantastic weather, the incredible schooling that you get here, and some of the most amazing beaches in the entire world. However, purchasing a home here can be an extremely daunting task. If you are considering packing up and making a move to this area, watch this quick video to the end. Because whether you are moving from somewhere else in California, out of the state, or even out of the country, I'm breaking down the seven steps to buying a home here that everyone should be aware of before making that decision. If it is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Gary Gann. I'm a local Orange County real estate agent and host of YouTube's Living in OC. If you are making a move to Orange County, California, this is what I do. Give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. I have people just like you reaching out every single week now, and I absolutely love it. I'll be looking forward to hearing from you too. With that said, let's dive right into today's video with the first step in the Orange County home buying process. Conducting a needs analysis. What is a needs analysis exactly? A needs analysis is when you have a thorough discussion with your real estate agent on what exactly your ideal property looks like. Now, a proper real estate professional will leverage expertise, local market knowledge, and key industry partnerships to ease you through that process of finding your dream home. But first, he or she should be asking you deliberate questions designed to gather the important data that's needed to kick off this journey towards your home ownership. This is always the first step that I take with all of my buyer clients. If they're in the area, I'll do this in person, typically in my office. If they're not local, I'll have this conversation via Zoom or just a typical phone call. Either way, this is step one and allows me to truly understand you, your needs as a home buyer, and ultimately if I am best suited to find that perfect dream property for you. Step two is to figure out financing. At this stage, it's your agent's job to ensure you have a solid financial footing when your dream home becomes available. Your agent should have a recommendation recommended network of lenders and financial experts that will help you choose the best financing option and that will get you pre-approved for a loan if you so need. They'll also help you determine how much home and how big of a down payment you can comfortably afford. All of this preparation is crucial in your success and will solidify your position as a serious market contender. As a quick side note, I have a few local lenders that I have trusted more than anything to take care of my clients for years now and I'd be happy to make those introductions for you, whether I'm your agent or not. Simply drop a comment below and I'll be happy to do that for you just simply for watching and supporting the channel. Now moving on to step three which is actually shopping for a home. This is certainly the fun part of your journey. Your agent should help you draw up a wish list of absolutely everything that you're looking for not only in your new home but also in your new community. During this process he or she should determine those must-haves and nice-to-haves and come up with an inventory of everything that you're seeking ordered by priority. Then your agent should go out and find those properties that check all of those must-have boxes that are within your budget and then start scheduling showings. After showings, we have step four, making an offer and negotiations. Now, when you're ready to go after a home, your agent should help you formulate a fair and data-driven offer based on an in-depth market analysis. Then he or she will draw up a purchase agreement. Afterwards, your agent should then leverage high-level negotiation skills to guide you through the contingencies and ultimately make sure that you don't spend any more money than you need to. Now, it is important to know that in a competitive market, it's not uncommon to be competing with other potential buyers, but that's not to say that you should worry. Should things not work out for whatever reason, your agent should already be ready with a game plan for your next offer. Now, step five is to conduct a property inspection. Once your offer is accepted, it's time to do a home inspection. At this stage, your agent should send an independent and licensed inspector to thoroughly investigate the condition of the home. Because this person is trained to detect things that may not be apparent during just a walkthrough, an inspection is truly going to be your best insurance. It can also be a very powerful negotiation tool if there are any problems that are uncovered. If issues do arise, a good agent will work with you to develop a strategy to best proceed. Quickly, before moving on to the final two steps, if you do find any value in these insights, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more on living in Orange County, California. Now, continuing on with step number six, we have getting final financial approval. Now, this step can get a little complicated as mountains of paperwork change hands, 
and all the details of the deal are put into place. A good agent will know from experience how to keep these crucial final stages of a loan approval from becoming overwhelming for you. He or she at this point should be regularly monitoring the progress of your transaction and should certainly keep you in the loop on any funds that might be expected from you. Your agent should also be working directly with your lender to make sure all paperwork is complete as you move forward towards that stress-free closing. At the seventh and final step of your journey, we have closing and celebrating. Trust me when I say you will be incredibly good at signing your name by the time you make it to closing. A few days before the sale is finalized, you and your agent should conduct a final walkthrough. Then both you and the seller will sign closing statements. The keys will then be yours and it's time to celebrate. Overall, I hope this was informative for those of you who are considering purchasing a home in the near future, or maybe it's just a distant goal right now now. Either way, make sure to come back to this video as a reminder of what to expect in that home buying process. And if you are contemplating a move to Orange County, this is what I do and I am here to help. Reach out to me directly by texting or calling my personal number that I'll put on the screen for you now. Whether you are making that move in nine days or nine months, reach out to me and I'll be looking forward to speaking with you. Other than that, if you found any value in today's video, please hit that little thumbs up button for me. It helps me out tremendously in getting this information out to people who could really benefit from it. And definitely consider subscribing as the team and I are releasing multiple videos a week for all things living in Orange County, California. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.